about some of the experiences, what we have done, what I know about this farm. He will of course come and he needs some 10 minutes to wind up and come. Yeah, we'll the ID. We'll the ID okay, before we start, yeah. let's just introduce ourselves. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm Avertino Miranda. I'm the co-organizer of this program along with Nestor. We've been organizing this uh, earlier. The last we had was, before COVID, we had a mango festival here. We had about 116 people attending it. Although it was planned for 25 people, then we expanded to 48 people. We got, we had two buses, this kind of buses, two major buses. The first became full, then we ordered another bus and it was huge with uh, live music and other programs. What so, the food? Hmm? food was there. Of course. We the, the team was mango, so everything was based on mango. Okay. There was a mango dishes. Even the desert was mango, mango ice cream. I didn't miss the desert. And then we also showed showcased mm. the forty over oh, forty varieties of mangoes which are grown in this farm. So we will go when we go you will see that the mango trees, which are uh, all exotic mangoes. Including mangoes from called Maya. Mm -hmm. Being adopted by Israel, must be from Africa somewhere. Uh -huh. And other lot of mangoes from uh, South America. I see. Yeah. And so please, grabs were there actually, where we were having uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. food. Okay, we'll start from. Uh, <laughs> That's not fair. Hey, I told you. Hey, puppies are also there. Should we enter the cow shed? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah. So. The whole idea here is this is an organic farm, you know. There is no chemicals used, no fertilizer used, no pesticides used. So, see the lovely, lovely birds. These are the free range birds. So they are just wishing us hi, the birds. They are complaining can, about their cousins who were eaten today. Yeah, but they, they, those are those are broiler cousins. They are, they are, they are, those are those are those are chicken. <laughs> Those are produced in the no, factories. No, no, you can also Taruna, come here. Come. Okay, There's go, lots go, of place. Okay? So, Let the intro be. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's start introducing ourselves. So, the whole focus is come, come, why come. we are doing this is not just because another picnic or waterfall or anything. We, we want to bring awareness. The need to have healthy food, the grow organic food, vegetables, fruits, everything that we do should be organic and we should not poison our soil. We are, out, we are running a movement. It's a movement for us. We are also into brown rice, you know, we grow community farming, we do and we network with farmers, we convince the farmers to give up fertilizer and pesticides and uh, 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 this is a passing cloud, so don't worry. Yeah, your program then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The program did not work. Coming here for those who didn't go to the waterfall. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Uh, who didn't go to waterfall? Yeah. Eric, you don't have a right for umbrella, you didn't go for waterfall. <laughs> okay. As I as I introduce myself, uh, we have uh, Frederick Norana here. Rico. Frederick, yeah. He's a journalist. He's a journalist. No, no, no. Uh, and then uh, please introduce yourself. Walter. Walter Maskrain. Tell me just briefly what you do. Yeah, I'm a corporate trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Management trainer. Eric. Uh, sorry? Can you open the door? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will open the door. Uh. Is introduction going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and also a swimming coach. Yeah, next. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Is that I am uh, And uh, I work uh, and stay in Shirling. Uh, okay. What do you do? What do you do? I, I am. Uh, I work uh, social media. Hey, don't social want to go inside. Inside. Rain. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Central. 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 Finished, rain is gone. Okay, rain is gone, rain is gone. Okay, I'm Emma Kamath, ex-banker, Bank of India, now retired. Okay. This is Vasanti Lotlikar, banker, now retired, and now presently a homemaker. Oh, a lot of bankers, eh? Banker, yeah. Just give a brief. I'm Samjita, I'm an ID trainer. Okay. Hi, I'm Pratik, I'm an environmental consultant. Hi everybody, I'm Angela, banker, retired. And athlete. And athlete, okay. <laughs> Rose DeMello, retired NIO, and athlete too. Wow. Okay. I'm uh, Joshua DeMello, uh, I teach in uh, Go University, Marine Center. Leticia D'Souza, banker. Not retired. No, no. 
Viola Rodriguez and I work at uh, NCQ. What is that? NCQ. National Center for Antarctic Research. For polar and Antarctic Polar. Research. polar. No, Antarctic. He was there earlier, what? working as a project scientist. I do more on health research also. As an alternative. What do you do? I am farming. Farming. Wow. I am Ramakan Kamat, banker, ex banker, retired. Anybody else? Uh, those two, uh, hello. <laughs> there, there. Yeah. Yes. Eric Pinto. I'm, I'm a civil engineer. Not retired. <laughs> retired, but not tired. Not tired. I, I, I think I'm very young. I don't, I don't want to retire. We don't retire. We put the new tire. <laughs> Retiring is <laughs> exactly. I'm in the exactly. I am exactly. uh, basically first engineer. Okay. Uh, I am uh, 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 Bombay, mechanical engineer. Way back in 77, I graduated. Long time. Then I worked in various companies, some of them international. But then I retired in 2015 and in 2016 I will go up. And I changed my activity and I'm a farmer now. I have a farm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. engineer to farmer. So with, all, that is all, why, huh? with all new tires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also required. Where is your farm? farm? Huh? Where is your farm? Farm is a very small uh, uh, farm in Mesut. Yes, yes. mm. Yeah, uh, but basically what I have done, uh, I plant trees like this, uh, just for your involvement. Chiku, which is a uh, big chiku. So small vegetables, I am not that uh, successful at. Brinjal I did, yeah, nice brinjal is that. Chilies I did, okay success. Bandy, no success. Bandy, no success. So maybe it is characteristic that no, that place. If you have a rat, rodent problem, right? Rodent problem is that the rats will not allow. Biggest problem is that dogs. Oh, dogs is better. So if we, somebody wants to build, no, they should put this fence. Somebody ah, and close it. Yeah, and uh, they give you subsidy. Now, agriculture, lot of subsidy is there. Those who are interested in agriculture, I can tell you, lot of subsidy. Huh? Government is giving you left and right for seed, for fertilizer, for machinery, glass cutting machine. Then you are against fertilizer. Huh? Huh? We are against chemical fertilizer. Chemical fertilizer don't use no organic. <laughs> Meaning compost, which he is, uh, he is making. Very good, very good quality. Yeah. Minimum 200 uh, meters square. Minimum 200 meters. What's your area of the farm? Mine is bigger than 400 meters. Anybody else in the room? Okay, anybody have to be in this? Yes. Vishal, yes. Yes. I'm, I'm Vishal and I run a community classroom. We have about 30 children and we do a lot of volunteering work. That's how I know Nestor. We have been coming here planting rice and uh, just 10 days ago we were here. We planted uh, lots of vegetables. We helped him make some vegetable beds, uh, cut some channels for water to drain out, etc. Yeah. I run this with uh, Talula. Any favor? Anyone wants a small boat? Yeah, I make, I make boats. So if you want uh, yeah, yeah. to have a, own your boat, it's boat. the <laughs> lightest, the cheapest, he makes uh, sturdiest, uh, the best boat in the whole world. <laughs> and costing only 5,000 rupees. A canoe. Only 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees. Canoe. 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 So if you want to travel from one place to another, Canoe. you don't need a car. It's, uh, made, it's from made of patra. Especially being a heavy patra, range, yeah. you can use a boat. But I make of fire. Huh? How yeah, yeah, that is uh, the biggest part of Pandas.
And you can uh, one cost. person can lift it. It depends uh, on the per meter. I made a lighter boat uh, even which you can strap on your back and cycle with it. Can you? Can you? What about the water? So you go in the backwaters like you know in the creek, creek area, canal area. Hello. It's motorized. No water. No, no, no more water. Growing, growing, growing. Both, both the boat needs. The wood doesn't see. No, it can take up to two adults easily. But we've gone two adults, one child, two adults, one dog like that also. But two adults. I'm making it smaller and smaller. Uh, I made it bigger. Then it could even take three adults. But then it is a bit difficult to fit on the top of the car or something. So I reduced it because of. So it's easier to store. That's why I'm reducing the size. You can make a bigger one, and you can four adults can go. So it's portable. It's portable. It's very light, very durable, uh, much cheaper than anything. Like a third of the price of the any boat you can buy, and it's immensely repairable. So if you get a dent, scratch, rust, you can fix it. No problem. So with so buoyancy. Very good business. With buoyancy. With of course buoyancy. Yeah, yeah. You have very good business in future. At the rate we are going in Goa, <laughs> filling up the land and all, Mercedes will be under water. In uh, 15 years time, you are already building. You give the boat. But most important is who is giving the training, how to. Row. It is very easy. I mean, children are rowing after 10 minutes or so. It's, it's, it's and what is there? because they are building six uh, it's so like it sinks only two inches in water it sinks so you very fast where are you based i don't know i thought you know it is 15 kilos i just put because